Hi, Todd Gordon here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather for the next week and a half across the Oracle Tex on this Thursday afternoon. You can see a mixed bag of weather. Lots of clouds over the north and west, even a little bit of rain. We've seen a little bit more sunshine in the mix further to the south and east. And where it really hasn't rained much, temperatures in the low 90s right now, where we've seen more rain, temperatures mainly in the 70s. And what we're going to be watching, a series of little disturbances giving us uh, a couple of rounds of showers and thunderstorms here in the next couple of days. We do have an upper level low. You can see it's centered over Missouri right now. Another larger upper level trough over the Pacific Northwest. This is eventually going to move east and usher a cold front through the area that will bring us our next best chance of widespread rain across all of the Arklotex. And the model still showing a pretty good amount of rain will be possible over parts of the area. So let's take you through the next few days here with Robin's Toyota Futurecast, and you can see that tonight. We will see uh, basically what rain we do have come to an end over most of the area. It's possible we could have some lingering showers over the northern edge of the area, but most of the Oracle Techs will become dry tonight. Then tomorrow, notice another cluster of showers and thunderstorms approaching the area late in the day from the northwest. Otherwise, we'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine, so most of tomorrow also looking dry, but during the evening, we'll see those thunderstorms to our north and west weaken and move across the southwest half of the Oracle Tex, if, is, if Futurecast is correct. That activity should come to an end, and we could see more scattered showers and thunderstorms during the day on Friday, which should eventually move out of the region. Then we'll take a pause once again for most of Friday night and Saturday before that front begins to bring us a better chance of rain late this weekend and Monday. As far as severe weather, uh, for tomorrow and tomorrow night, Storm Prediction Center indicating a marginal severe weather risk. But again, as far as those thunderstorms moving into the Oracle Tex, here's a look at wind gust potential from Futurecast. Again, yellow is 30, red is 40 miles per hour, and you can see uh, most of the stronger storms likely will stay in that slight risk area to the west of the Oracle Tex. But we could see a few storms produce some gusts of 30 to over 40 miles per hour. That's definitely within the realm of possibility. Uh, rainfall potential, you can see the latest here from Futurecast showing limited amounts uh, as um, the thing to point out here is this is potential and uh, it does appear as if the best chances of seeing the heavier rain will be to the west of us. But notice these areas where we have the green and blue. Uh, that's definitely areas where an inch will be possible, but keep in mind these could actually occur yet anywhere across the region. You might recall last night during the evening newscast, Futurecast had an inch over a good chunk of the Oracle Tex, so jury's still out on how much we'll get during the course of the next couple of days. And if you do get disappointed by the rain over the next couple of days, you got another shot as we look ahead to the end of the weekend and first of next week. Again, our current upper level disturbance will move out as we'll continue with the chance for the occasional shower and thunderstorm through Friday. Here comes the upper level low. You can see it moving into the upper Midwest. The associated front will bring us a chance for some rain Sunday, Sunday night that could linger into Monday. Some models indicating we might even see a little bit of rain over the southern half of the area Tuesday, and then it's looking pretty much dry for the rest of next week. Now, as far as 10-day um, rainfall potential, this is a look at the model blend, which kind of puts everything together. And you can see the heaviest rain likely will fall over the northern sections of the area. The model blend is still showing three and a half to four inches possible there. Amounts will gradually drop off as you look to the south with an inch to an inch and a half over the southern edge of the Oracle Tex. Normal during a 10 day period uh, now in the Oracle Tex as we close September and head into October, uh, right around an inch and a third. So it looks like most of the area, fortunately, will see above normal rainfall during the course of the next week and a half. So your forecast looks like this for tonight. Uh, we will see most of any rain that we have across the area come to an end. Uh, temperatures will ease into the mid 60s north to the upper 60s to low 70s south. That includes 71 in Shreveport, 67 degrees tonight for the low temperature in Texarkana tomorrow. Um, mainly a mix of clouds and sunshine. Most of the day will be dry, hence the low rainfall chances. Notice the higher chances further to the north and west. That's where thunderstorms could arrive a bit earlier in the afternoon. We'll see the rainfall chances increase area-wide tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. And then your 10-day forecast shows another chance for some showers and thunderstorms Friday. We'll take a pause Saturday 
And then Sunday, Sunday night, Monday are our next best chance of rain. Notice highs when it's not raining, low to middle 90s. When it's raining, probably in the upper 80s through Monday. And then we'll kind of settle into the upper 80s to low 90s for highs uh, through next week with overnight lows. Eventually in the low 70s, those lows should return to the middle 60s by the end of next week. So again, still looking promising that uh, pretty much all of the Oracle Techs will see near or above normal rainfall with parts of the area seeing uh, again two, three times normal for a 10-day period as it does appear as if the heaviest rain will fall over the northern sections of the area.